Hi, welcome to Try This. My name's Nicole and I go to DeWitt High School. Today we're going to do an experiment to turn an ordinary apple into an apple mummy. We'll find out which salts work best just like they did in ancient Egypt. To do this, you will need one fresh apple, one large box of table salt, one large box of Epsom salt, one large box of baking soda, a knife, a measuring spoon, a mixing bowl, a pen, a piece of paper, masking tape, eight plastic cups, and a sensitive balance or food scale. First things first, we'll need to have an adult help cut the apple into eight pieces that are similar in size. Next, take the pen and give each cup a number one through eight. Then put a piece of tape on each cup with the word starting weight written across it. Make sure to leave enough room on each strip of tape for the data. Now grab an apple slice, weigh it, and record its weight on the piece of tape on cup number one. Then insert the apple slice into the cup. Do this for the other seven apple slices in seven cups so they have all been labeled with the correct starting weight. Next, we're going to fill each cup with a different combination of salts, making sure to completely cover the apple slice. Record the contents of each cup on the piece of paper in a table like this. Cup one will be 100% baking soda. Cup two will be 100% Epsom salt. Cup three will be 100% table salt. Fill cup four with a 50-50 mix of Epsom salt and table salt. Fill cup 5 with a 50-50 mix of baking soda and Epsom salt. Fill cup 6 with a 50-50 mix of table salt and baking soda. Cup 7 will be a one-third combination mix of baking soda, Epsom salt, and table salt. Cup 8 will just contain the apple with no salts. This is the control for our experiment so we can compare the natural decay of the apple to the effects of the salts. At this point, we should have 7 cups with an apple slice and salt and 1 cup with just an apple slice. Now we're going to let the cup sit for seven days. Make sure to pick a spot without any direct sunlight. After a week has gone by, take out each apple slice and record the ending weights. Be sure to brush off as much salt as possible, but do not rinse out with water. Now we'll calculate the percentage of weight difference due to moisture loss. To do this, you want to take the ending weight and divide it by the start weight that we took in the beginning of the experiment, then multiply by 100. We now know that whichever cup had the highest percentage difference in weight had the best type of salt to use when making a mummy like they did in ancient Egypt. This works because salt is a desiccant. This means that it helps remove water from things, including human bodies. Have you ever wondered why you get thirsty when you eat salty things? Ancient Egyptians knew the secrets of salts, and this is why they used them for removing moisture to mummify bodies. I hope you enjoyed creating your own apple mummy. Thanks for watching. Now you, try this. Thank <laughs> you.